Good evening, Pittsburgh. I'm Matt Belanger. And I'm Shannon Perright. Tonight, they gathered in the central Pittsburgh community of Bedford Dwellings, not just to remember the victim, but to reenact his murder. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Courtney Fisher was there. Ernest Williams was shot right here on this street in this Bedford Dwellings neighborhood five weeks ago. His killer still has not been caught. Tonight, friends and family came together in a unique way, hoping somebody will come forward with new information. With a fake gun, <laughs> Ernest Williams' friends reenact the night of May 28th, the night he was shot. This is what happened. This woman in the red cap plays Williams, showing how they think he collapsed on the ground after getting shot in the back. The little information we got, we want to go back and see if we can't just show the community, hey, this is what happened. This is the way we saw it. But how did it really go? Could you help us to put it together? Police still haven't made an arrest. They're hoping this, this changes that. Like, I'm lost without my child. Like, his family, you know, we're all hurt. I can't even start to explain to you how we feel. Just hurt. Williams' mom cries for her son, for his future that could have been. He was one week shy of graduating high school, was going to start community college in the fall. Day by day, you know, take it one day at a time. I couldn't tell, you know, I wouldn't wish this on no one. It's rough. It's very rough. So, I just, you know, hope. Williams' parents and grandma say as long as their son's killer is out there, they'll fight to keep his memory alive. He will not ever be forgotten. Not ever day that I live or my family lives. Never be forgotten. If you have any information about what happened that night, call police. Reporting in Bedford Dwellings, Courtney Fisher, Pittsburgh, Action News 4.